Hi again everyone. In this simple video we're going to look at the trigonometric applications of complex numbers and in particular the relationship between cosine theta, sine theta and the exponential can be applied to simplified trigonometric expressions. And in, in this particular uh, video we're going to write sine theta or to the power 5 in terms of sine n theta for n equals 1, 2, 3 etc. Now the question is why would you want to do that? Why is that important and how is it interesting? How is it useful? Well, think of this uh, trying to integrate this expression here. It's difficult. It can be done but it's difficult and it's time consuming. If I could write this in terms of this, well this is much easier to integrate. So one of the motivations for um, this example is that once you have a simplification, well that can be perhaps and hopefully more easily worked within your calculations, for example, if you are doing some sort of integration. So let's look at the, the following example. We're asked to apply this identity to write sine theta to the power 5 in terms of sine n theta for n equals 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with and don't forget that there is a more general version of this sine n theta equals 1 on 2i e to the i n theta minus e to the minus i n theta okay that's going to come um, into play a little bit later now you may think where does this come from well we'll discuss that uh, at the end okay so to get this all I need to do is take both sides of this identity and, and raise it to the power 5 so let's give this a, uh, a label So basically I just take both sides to the power 5. Now using my index laws I'd like to expand this and simplify if I can. So Okay, so expanding here, well, basically i squared equals ne negative 1, right? So i to the power 5 will be i to the power 4 times i, which is i. Expanding this bracket is going to be a little bit more time consuming though. Now some of you may be able to expand this bracket straight out. If you can, then that's great. If not, then um, a good way of determining what you need is Pascal's triangle. So Pascal's triangle just gives you the coefficients in the terms of this expansion. So let me show you what I mean. You start off with this and you write ones all the way down the sides and you add two numbers to get the, the um, specific number in the next row. So here I've added one and one and got two. I move down. 1 and 2, 3, 2 and 1, 3, and just keep on going. 3 and 3, 6, 3 and 1 is 4. Okay, so each row gives you the coefficients of the terms in your expansion. So this, these would be the coefficients if this was a power 4. These would be the coefficients if this was a power 3. So we need to do one more row here. So this is our row of interest. All right. So let's see if we can expand this and somehow simplify. Now when you expand this and use these um, coefficients, you need to raise and lower powers accordingly. And let me show you what that means. So we have a 1 here, 1 here. We raise this to the power 5. We move on to the next term. 
coefficient's 5. Now we decrease this power and increase the power of the other term. So this now becomes a 4, and then I write down the other term with a power of 1. Okay? And I continue over. And the next coefficient is going to be 10. I decrease this power by 1 and increase this power by 1. And just keep on working. Next coefficient is going to be 10. Again, decrease this power by 1, increase this power by 1. Okay, keep on going. The next coefficient is going to be 5. So this goes to 1 now. And lastly, this will go to 0, so it's just, just 1. And the power 0 will just go to 1. And this will be increased to 5. Okay, so now we've got a big mess here. What we would like to do is simplify. Well, you can expand here and use your index laws. In particular, this term and this term are going to almost be the same. They're, they're both going to have, well, this one's going to have i5 theta, and this one's going to have minus i5 theta up here. So it's starting to look a little bit like this bracket here for n equals 5. Okay, and similarly, when we expand this bracket and, and uh, simplify the indices, this and this are going to have a similar form to this, but with n equals 3. And lastly, this and this are going to have similar forms to this bracket, but with n equals 1. So what you can do now is just expand out here. Be careful because there are a few minus signs in there. But let's let's expand and, and see see where we go. Okay, so if I expand then and rearrange, so I want to group the similar terms together. I'll get this, and then with a little bit of factorization, I'll get this, and lastly, I'll get this. Now, let's go back to the more general setting. Sine n theta equals this. So what I can do now is put a I guess a uh, 2i into here from the front and write it in the following way. Okay. Okay, so now, hopefully, you can recognize that this is just sine 5 theta, this is just sine 3 theta, and this is just sine theta. So, I've actually got the simplification that I'm looking for. So, what I've done there now is I've written sine theta or to the power 5 in terms of sine theta, sine 3 theta and sine 5 theta. Okay, well at the beginning I, I motivated this, this topic and said you can use these ideas for integration. Well, let's say I wanted to integrate sine, of five, uh, sine theta or to the power 5. Well, 
because I have this expression for sine theta, I can integrate each of these terms, and these are easy to integrate. Now, I said also at the beginning we talk about where these relationships come from. Here's one for co uh, co cos theta as well. Well, they come back to, to this basic expression and this basic expression. Okay? Using these two expressions, you can formulate these two identities. Now, one thing that's important to, to learn that you don't get good at videos just by watching. You need to do some mathematics as well. And here, I've given you an example. Apply this identity to write cos theta to the power 4 in terms of cos n theta for n equals 1, 2, etc. And hence, evaluate this integral.